and gentlemen of the YouTube land, it's your boy Tuglo, and today we have here the Missing Elf event, aka the second event that's going to take place over the Mad Gibbon. So it's going to be located at the exact same location where the Mad Gibbon was located. So uh, with this event, this is going to be focusing on increasing our proficiency skills. Now, I have not had the opportunity to go over the proficiency skills for each weapon, but that will come in due time. So just bear with me and we will get those videos out there. But what you need to know right now is that each weapon proficiency all requires some things that are going to be the same materials some are going to be different you know you might have your red jewels your green jewels that are going to be different depending on your weapon but you will have the same things as far as leveling them is concerned as far as uh transforming some of them just uh this is going to be the place to get them so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have we have the missing elf is going to be a weak to the dark element so that is going to be good you know the newest yuki uh order or skill that is a dark skill that's the first one that came off the top of my head so that will be effective for this event now one thing that we do have to notice is depending on the difficulty that you are fighting it on the element for attacks will change the next thing that you also want to be wary of is that there are three different types of attacks of elements that will come at you on the most difficult level so when you get into that most difficult level be very cautious the mad gibbon yes he was extremely annoying because all he did was teleport and it felt like he was glitching out half the time but we're we're gonna give them the benefit of the doubt but this guy will hit like a truck so be extra cautious when you're dealing with this fella now just like the mad given event we are going to have two different types of metals and we are going to stand right here at the trader and we are going to talk to her now this event is going to give us silver and gold metals your silver medals are going to be your bronze and then your gold is going to be your silver if you're kind of correlating that to the mad given event as you can see we have multiple different types of materials and i'm sure the first question that you're thinking to yourself is well how many will i need in total that just depends on what all you want to farm if you want to clear the shop you're going to need a lot of silvers i'm going to tell you that but if you're just going to say hey i only want this this and this because these are the biggest and most important ones then by all means you won't have to farm for a very long time but uh let's just go ahead and see you know compared to gold silver what is going to be important with your gold and silvers you definitely want to get that release crystal large that is going to be your main priority yes the memoria nighters of medium they are important don't get me wrong but the release crystal large is definitely going to take your priority in that case especially with the amount that it costs you get one large for 20 gold coins so you're definitely going to either a want to start early or b not even pay attention to the memoria nighters the memoria nighters if we go ahead and tap on it as you can see it helps us limit break our skill records and i assume that in this game limit breaking it means taking our ability from four star to a five star ability now with these silver medals there are going to be a lot more and they are going to be a little bit trickier just depending on what you want to focus on do you want to focus on uh your skill profession proficiency and getting that to the yeah. highest levels or do you want to work on your skill records and max limit break them first so if you want to go the limit breaking route you definitely want to focus on your memoria nighters and your jewels depending on what weapons you are using along with that you do want to focus the record kits now if you do not want to focus on your skill records you'll want to focus on the release crystals small 
and medium and the martial arts text. Those are going to be the way that you want to go. So proficiency skills are going to be these release crystals in the text. Everything else is going to be for your skill records and limit breaking them. Oh, and transforming them. Uh oh. But uh, if you want to just be ballsy and kind of do what I'm hoping to do and just clear the entire shop out, by all means, get to farming because this is going to take a very, very long time. Uh, you do, I will say this, you do have until the 18th of this month in order to clear out the shop at, for and get as many medals as you can possibly get. Because after the 18th, that's when this event is going to end. But the trade shop will be available until the 25th. So just like you see that even though the Mad Gibbon event is done, we can still access the Mad Gibbon shop. The same will be for the Missing Elf shop as well. Guys, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you kind of get a feel for what you want to be focused on and what you need to do for this event so you can maximize the Missing Elf event in Sword Art Online Integral Factor. Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate the support a lot if you haven't already. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel to help make the dream become a reality. Also, once you're subscribed, be sure to turn on those notifications. Last but not least, check out the description box down below where you can find links to my Discord server, my Twitch stream, my Patreon page, and any social media such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it a lot. And as y'all know, that's the fat lady singing. That's the bells are ringing. And until the next video, I hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.